Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah. So for today's video is another part of my Vlogmas series here on my channel. So as we lead up to Christmas, which is in case you're new to my channel and don't know this, is my absolute favorite holiday. I love everything about it. I love the gift giving, the family events, the lights, the activities, Santa Claus, everything, the traditions. It's just, I just love this holiday season. We, you know, considering we decorated starting November 7th. So I just love it. I, it's amazing. Um, anyway, so I'm going to talk today about gift ideas for your kids. So I'm going to kind of sh um, share with you what I got for my kids. If you're new to my channel, I do have three kids. I have two boys who are seven and three and a five-year-old girl. So I find that my three-year-old is probably the hardest to shop for because he's the second boy and he's the youngest. So he just plays with everything we already have. So it's hard to come up with ideas of things that he could use when really he doesn't really need anything. But of course, I'm not going to get him nothing. Um, so as far as Christmas, I typically try to start eyeing things up you know, starting in September or so, so I'm not rushing doing it in December. And if I see something I think the kids will like that's within our budget, then I'll pick it up. Now, I'm trying to watch what we're spending because I don't want to overdo it either. Um, I still want to get them things that they like, but I don't want to overspend either because I, I don't think it's necessary. Um, so yeah, one day is actually funny. I was actually shopping and I stumbled upon a few things for my kids that I thought they would like. And I inadvertently finished most of my Christmas shopping, but it was not planned. I wasn't planning on doing it in September, or October, but it's just kind of how it happened. Um, so yeah, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to kind of go over what I got for each of my kids. Um, I don't have a lot of the items to show you because I'm one of those people that as soon as I get it, I wrap it because then it's easier to hide because it's already wrapped. Um, but I will include um, pictures throughout the video of the items and links to anything I can in my description box below so that you can kind of see what it looks like as well as... Um, as you maybe you can find it if you decide you want to purchase it for your kids. Um, so I'm going to first go over what I got for my seven year old boy. So he's very simple. He's into dinosaurs, Minecraft, Lego, Super Mario, all that kind of stuff. So he's not really that difficult. Well, I got him, we got him these um, two remote control cars. They're Mario and Luigi. And I think he's going to love them because he loves playing Mario Kart. So it'll be kind of fun that maybe him and my husband or anyone, we can race around the house with them. And I think he'll think they're super fun. And then I also came across um, some Where's Waldo books. And I remember those when I was a kid and they were so much fun trying to find Waldo. And there's six books in this pack. So I'm hoping he's going to like it because as a kid, I do remember loving the Where's Waldo books. And I'm so happy that they're around and I found those. Um, so those are kind of the couple things I got for him. Plus I got him a few, a few other books as well. I usually like to try to find some educational type books or books that he can use, uh, he can read and that sort of thing. So I have a few other books as well that I'm including with his gift. Um, and then my daughter who is five, who loves anything to do with unicorns, Barbies, dolls, and pink or purple. So and arts and crafts. So she's fairly simple, if you will. I find her pretty easy to shop for. So I found this VTech unicorn um, and you can sing into it. You can brush its hair, do all sorts of things with it. So I think she's gonna really, really like it because she doesn't really have any unicorn toys and it looks like it's very interactive and stuff for her as well. So I think she's gonna really like that. Um, I also got her a unicorn book and a couple other books. And then I also got her a Lisa Frank art kit. So there's lots of different art supplies and stuff in those little art kits. So I think she's going to like that as well because she loves her arts and crafts. So that's kind of the things that I got for her. And then for all three kids, we got them a world map because I always think it's fascinating to point out different countries and stuff. So we'll figure out where we're going to put it, but I think it's kind of, I think it'll be kind of cool because like my boys have a globe in their room. So I think it'll be kind of cool to have this map that we can put on the wall and then we can point out different countries in the world and teach them a little bit about um, our world. So that's what we got all three kids. Um, now our youngest, again, I was so stuck on what to get him. His biggest obsession right now is he loves cars and trains and anything with wheels. But of course we have tons of, um, trains. We have tons of cars. I like, we have a whole bin of cars. Um, we have Duplo, so we don't really need any more of that stuff. So I was trying to think outside the box and think of what can we get him? I was like, is there something we can get him for, to play with outside? because we do live in an area of the country that doesn't get a lot of snow. So other than the rain, we can actually spend more time in the backyard most of the year. Um, so I came across, I was trying to think of what does he like? Well, I came across this little tykes trampoline. Um, it's like a, it's a smaller trampoline has a bar on it. 
And I thought this would be perfect because he loves to jump and bounce and stuff like that. So I thought we can put this inside our playroom or our front entrance for now um, during the winter. And then come spring and summer, we can use he can use it outside. So I thought it'd be a really fun thing that he could use. It says ages three to eight. So all my kids can use it at this point. Well, my oldest is probably getting a little too old for it but at least my youngest will get several years of enjoying it and something different and something that we don't have because we do not have trampoline in the backyard so i got that for him because i thought it'd be kind of fun and then i also have a couple of books i'm getting for him as well because i feel like books you can't go wrong with i feel like books are always um a great thing and we have some books that we've had to throw out over time because they've been beyond taping repair um and like so i just like to get all the kids some books so that's kind of what um we got the kids as far as their like main gifts from us. Um, it's not a lot, but I think they're gifts that they're gonna enjoy. And I also try not to get too many things I think they either won't use or just add to the more stuff in our house kind of thing. So I try to be practical as I, if I can with the gifts. So they kind of each get like a bigger gift and then a few smaller gifts like books and stuff like that. So that's kind of how I went with it. Um, so I think they're gonna like it. They're all kind of based on things that they enjoy. So I'm really excited to see what they think of them when they open them. Now, one tradition we have that is kind of adapted for my husband's tradition is my husband, they would open a gift Christmas Eve. They could pick any gift they wanted from under the tree. So instead what we do, which I know a lot of people do, is um, we do Christmas jammies and like a book or something. We used to do a movie, but now with all the streaming services, we don't really need to get a movie every year because the streaming service have a lot of the movies that our kids enjoy. So we kind of skip that part, but we can still watch a movie with them. So this year, because normal years, we get our kids just matching pajamas for the three of them. But this year I said to my husband, I thought it'd be lots of fun if we got family pajamas. So we've never done matching pajamas as a family, but I think it'll make it super fun. Um, we can get a fun picture with all our pajamas on and everything. And I'm just really looking forward to it because I think it'll just be, it'll just be fun to be kind of festive and have these matching pajamas and do it as a family because you know why not why not do something different i mean we don't like to buy ourselves matching family pajamas every year because my husband and i don't really need pajamas every single year because we're not growing like the kids are the kids need new pajamas every year because they've grown but we don't necessarily need need them so we thought for this year we would just go for it so i'll try to include a link to the pajamas in the description box below if they're still there because i know they're starting to run out um online i got them from children's place so they're really cute and fun and I love the plaid. So we got th these ones. So all of us have the same shirt it says we are family 2020. And I like how they have the plaid in, in the writing and everything. And I just, I just think they're really nice and they're simple. And I just like the, you know, Christmas colors. And then these are the pants. I think they're super fun and I love them. So lots of plaid and I always like plaid. You can't go wrong with plaid. Um, especially red plaid and so I thought these would be kind of fun for all of us to be matching in and get a nice family photo and just Christmas Eve I'll be matching and even Christmas morning if we don't get dressed right away so that's really fun and then what we got for the kids as well um, is so for my youngest I got this Paw Patrol sticker book and drawing because I thought maybe he would get a little more into stuff like this um, for my oldest I got Pete the Cat Christmas saves Christmas so I thought that'd be fun. Pete the Cat's a really good series um, so I got that for him and then for my youngest I got these or my sorry my youngest my daughter I got five minute bedtime stories for kids so she loves her book so I thought she really liked this because she likes anything um, book related. She will sit down and read a book any time of the day anywhere she's like can you read to me so we're gonna read, we can read all these stories whenever she wants. And they're only five minutes, so they're great. There's a whole bunch of them in here. Like so many to choose from. So I'm kind of excited to uh, pull that out. And if she wants a quick story, she can pick one and we can just read it. So that's kind of cool. And actually the last few things I got for the kids that I totally forgot to show you guys that I can actually show you um, is for my daughter, um, I got her these Minnie Mouse containers. Like look at that lid. It looks like Minnie Mouse, super cute. Even has the dots, like Minnie Mouse. And then it also comes with two of these containers. So they have the Minnie Mouse dots on them. And this really cute little water bottle. So I think she's gonna enjoy this just for using around the house and stuff. But she loves Minnie Mouse so much. So this will be perfect. Um, and then the other thing I got for the kids, um, which is wall decals. So the wall decals we use in the playroom or their bedrooms. 
But one thing I love about the wall decals is you can kind of change them up depending on whatever your kid's into. So if your kid is into cars one week and then six months later is into trains, you can easily not wreck their walls, pull them off, put new ones on, and I love them. So I feel like these are great ways that you can kind of create a theme for your kids in their room without having to repaint or do a lot of rage or redecorating. You simply just pull the old ones off and put the new ones on. And we've changed them up a lot and they have not wrecked our paint. Um, and of course my boys share a room, so it's kind of nice if they can each have a bit of their own theme. Like my, they're on a loft bed, so my oldest is up top so that I can put some decals and stuff up top around his bed. And then for my youngest around his bed on the bottom, I can put some stuff that's kind of what he's into. So for my youngest, I got these decals that have trucks and trains and cars and everything. So I think he'll really like that because he is obsessed with cars and trains and trucks and everything. So anything with wheels. So I thought this would be super fun for um, their room. And then for my oldest, I found Super Mario decals. He loves Super Mario. He loves playing Mario Kart. He just he just loves it. So I thought these were fun um, to put up in his room and we can put them up kind of up around the higher top by his bed, also around his Lego table and that sort of thing. But I saw these and thought they would be fun for him. And then you can probably guess at what decals I got for my daughter. But in case you didn't guess yet, Minnie Mouse. Because again, she is completely obsessed with Minnie Mouse. And I saw these and thought these would be perfect. Um, Cause currently she has like My Little Pony and Moana um, and unicorns in her room. Um, but on some of the decals, she's kind of peeled off too many times. So they're wearing out. And also we put some new furniture in her room a few months ago. So some of the decals got, got covered. So I kind of need to redo the decals in her room anyway. And sometimes if you peel off the decals to move them, they don't stick quite, quite right. So I figured it was good to have some new ones on hand so that that way, um, when we do that, we have some new ones to put on her wall. So that's all the different things I got for my kids. Like I said, I will try my best to link everything I can in my description box below. And throughout this video, you'll see some pictures of things that I got the kids. So hopefully this gives you some ideas of what to get your kids if they're around the same age as mine. Cause I know the struggle is real as a parent sometimes to try to get that right gift or find that thing that your kid wants. Um, thankfully my kids haven't been too particular about things they want. I know my oldest um, would love some more Lego. So that's something we're gonna share with our family members. Um, if they're looking for gift ideas for him. My daughter hasn't really said too much. She just said something about unicorns and Barbies and stuff. So she's fairly simple and not tough to please. And well, my youngest hasn't suggested, suggested anything. So we're, I'm kind of winging it here and I still don't even know what to suggest for him because I have some family members that are asking and I'm like, I don't know what he wants because we have cars, so he doesn't need more cars. So I really don't know. Um, so let me know in the comments below. Have you started your shopping for your kids? Have you finished your shopping for your kids? Where are you at when it comes to shopping? Um, and yeah, if you did enjoy today's video, please give it a thumbs up. If you do enjoy this type of content and the Vlogmas series on my channel, as well as other content you hear when it comes on my channel, when it comes to my cleaning motivation and stuff, I love for you to consider subscribing and joining my YouTube family. So don't forget that red subscribe button and that notification bell so you miss any future videos from me. I appreciate every single one of you who subscribe to my channel. The support means so much to me. And I would love to have you as well if you are new to join my YouTube family. I have a lot of fun videos. I do some baking. I do cleaning motivation. I do some organization. I do some grocery hauls. I do some decor hauls, pack and prep for family holidays and all that kind of stuff in between. So if this is kind of your jam and what you kind of like to watch, I would love for you to consider subscribing. So that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next one. Bye.